In this video, we'll take a look at how to change the size of an image before adding it to Cascade Server. In order for a picture to look good in a website, it often takes a little effort to get it just right. When taking a picture with a digital camera, the photograph is usually too large to be used the way it is. And it usually helps to know what size you want to make the image before you actually change its size. I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop here and that's what we're going to use to change the size of our image that we have on our desktop called image.tiff and what we're going to do is change its size to match the images that appear on the bottom of every web page within the IUSF website and the important piece of information to know here is the width and these images are 250 pixels wide so we're going to take that image on our desktop and make it 250 pixels wide. So in Photoshop, go ahead and go to File, Open, and we're going to open that image TIFF. Once we have it open, the thing to notice is that yes, we can see it on our screen, however, we're only seeing 16.7% of the image. And what I'm going to change right now is we're going to make it its actual size. So its actual size at 100% is this image here, which is just too big to be used on the web. So what we're going to do is reduce its size to become 250 pixels wide. So what we're going to do is go to image, image size, and we're going to change its width to 250 and we're going to say OK and this is the size of the image that it becomes which is much better for the web and that's going to match this size here on our website so now that we've reduced its size we need to save that in order to do this you want to go to file say for web and devices and it always helps I find it to be useful is to select two up usually Photoshop defaults to original and I'm going to select two up and what you're doing is you're looking at this is the original image and this is what your image will become and what we want to do is save it out as a JPEG image so make sure that you select JPEG right now my quality is set at 25 pixels or 25 if we take a look at what the image will become it's going to become a JPEG and it would become 8.285 kilobytes which is a much better size for the web let's change the quality to a higher number just to see what happens I'm going to change it to 85 and as you can see the image size also changes to become 32.12 kilobytes. This is still a little large, so what we're going to do is reduce this back down to about 25 or so. And go ahead and select Save. I usually find it useful to give it a different name, so I'm going to call it Steering Committee. And I'm going to go ahead and select Save. Now that you've saved your image out, you're ready to add it to Cascade Server.